My name is Paul Frick. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of New Orleans. Um, my role in, the, in Models for Change is to basically work with the data for the Louisiana Models for Change program. All right. Then our role at UNO is to help all decisions that are made for Models for Change to be based on what, re, what, what does data say is the best way to, to approach this, rather than to be based on opinions and political motivations, is to say, all right, what does the data say is how we should go. The final part is our role is to also evaluate at the end, how did we do? And I think that's an important part of Models for Change because we'd like it, we'd like Louisiana to be a model for other states. And the only way we can prove that is if we can say, look, here's the evidence that we were effective in what we did. One of the challenges is ju just the idea of, of using data. You know, for a lot of people working in the juvenile justice system, the data has been just so hard to get that they're used to making decisions without it. I think a big challenge, particularly in Louisiana, is there, there is no standard data system for the juvenile justice um, system in the state. And so you have a whole bunch of different data sets um, that vary in terms of how useful they are, both for the people using it as well as for policymakers. Starting from just the, some of the basic assumptions of models for change were, were a result of the MacArthur Research Network. The idea that you have to really understand adolescent development and how adolescents differ from adults to design a juvenile justice system was a very much um, a part, that, uh, a, a finding or a result of the MacArthur um, Research Network. So just the basic assumption of models for change. You know, the second part is, you know, all of these decisions, what, you know, whatever you use to make decisions has to be based on a knowledge of adolescent development. You know, I, I want to speak sp first from personal experience. I mean, when, when I was invited to be part of it, I first looked at, you know, sort of the underpinnings and what the goals of the models for change, because there are a lot of national movements that are not based on good research base. And it was just incredibly impressive, um, the models for change um, design, in the sense that they really looked at the best available research to say, here's how, here's what's going to drive this initiative. And I think that was very impressive. And so, and I think they've done it in a way that they've put a lot of resources. So there are a lot of initiatives that are underfunded. Uh, and they really do a good job of pulling together a lot of diverse, uh, diverse stakeholders into this. And so I think what's exciting to me is here is somebody who's doing it on a large scale but doing it right. And you know that's just fun to be part of.